Hello, my friends of Catray Labs. My name is Omo Montoya. Please welcome to this tutorial where we are going to model groundwater flow with Python but with LandLab. Okay, so the LandLab, there is a component to simulate groundwater flow that runs under certain restrictions that well but basically that it's only has only has only horizontal flow uh, that uses this approximation and it has further documentation that you can uh, that you can visit okay and then you can it omits the capillary things and so on okay so in this example we are going to have to to recreate a conceptual hydrological model where we are going to use this on and then we are going to explain the different aspects of the simulation. Okay, so let's see. You are going to receive in the description of the video the zipped folder, well, the zipped IPython notebook. Okay, that will be, what is this? That will be here. Okay, so this is the, um, so this will be groundwater flow modeling with the do put approximation with python and landlab okay landlab okay great oh sorry maybe i have some mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what is going on here? I have somewhere. Okay. Okay, great. So you are going to receive the spirit folder here, and then please place it that under your documents. And here, open Anaconda Prom. CD documents, CD documents, CD groundwater flow, okay, and then Jupyter Lab. Okay. Then kernel, restart kernel and clear all outputs. Okay. First, what we do is that we import the required files that matplotlib, numpy, raster model grid, and then here, uh, actually, we you don't use the precipitation distribution. Let me guess, precipitation. Actually, but we, yes, we don't use this one. Okay. Uh, Okay, we don't use the precipitation distribution, however, but there is recharge on this on this simulation. Okay, then we define that the raster model grid is closed by default. Okay, and then there is just one node that is the output of the the outlet, the only discharge point of this basin, well, of this model grid. Okay. And then we define some hypothetical uh, surface elevation, base elevation, and initial water table. Okay, great. Then we plot this surface elevation. This is the surface elevation that it ranges from 10 to 14.5, I guess. And the aquifer base is zero by default, and the initial uh, water table that ranges from 8 to 12. Okay. Right. Then we define the parameters. Okay, this is in meters per second, so this is k, and this is the recharge. Okay, and this is the porosity. Okay. Then we define the component, the groundwater percolator. Okay, and also the flow accumulator. Okay. Then we define the time steps. So we are going to simulate 25, uh, 200 time steps of 25 seconds. So this is 200 times 25. Two hours, I guess. Okay. Uh, then we have the empty the arrays to store values, and then we run the model. Okay. Uh, the recharge flux is the recharge flux in, and the groundwater flux is the groundwater. This is the discharge 
out and the surface water is also discharged out however this is the total storage this is kind of confusing okay because you have a storage in and as well you have a storage out okay well we run this then we plot the final water table that it has reached from zero to uh, it has increased because at the beginning was no it has decreased okay it has decreased okay and why it has decreased okay because okay the recharge is already transmitted to the discharge point okay so as long as then you have more uh, more water okay so what it, does it say is that the hydraulic conductivity is so big that it it conducts it brings it ports it it makes the the groundwater goes ma as much faster than the recharge rate is increasing is coming to the system so you will have no hydraulic mounting okay it, or it will restrict the hydraulic mounting okay then we something that is great about land lab that we can create also the plots of that and uh, this is what you have of this is the storage that is increasing but later on if you model more time it will decrease okay then we have the time in hours two hours was a simulation time but no 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 it was not two hours it was five thousand seconds but divided by three thousand six hundred is one hour thirty five okay then you will have the surface water flux and then here you have the groundwater flux um here and the total fluxes okay i strongly recommend that you keep play with the values because it's so easy to do that in jupyter notebook and then to see um uh, what is going on if recharge is double if the time is double if and then you will see what it happens when the water table actually reach surface okay and it it, it has it brings some um some convergences okay and that's it okay the this approach uh, even with land lab you can set up um storms as well and then you can set up um, another process okay the, the those features are already in land lab i i strongly recommend that you search for those and then um, well um like the amount of possibilities uh, able that are able to to model with land lab are huge and then well this tutorial just uh, wants to provide you a great first step into that okay just to show you what we are we are hatari labs hatari labs is a web it's a web dedicated to the knowledge share in groundwater modeling and spatial analysis we have a lot of courses that you can take we are going to launch some new diplomas we have some programs and even we have a um, workshop in the university of being uh, next july um, and then you're invited to follow all our material and if you find our material interesting please share it with your friends and if you want to take some of our class of our courses then that will be great as well and my name is Ol Motoya. Remember that you will have all the input data of this tutorial in the description of the model. And hope to see you in coming um, tutorials, webinars, and so on. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye.